Yo. What's going on, everybody? It's our pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I know it's been a minute since I gave you guys a My Team video, but I was actually trying to build up enough VC to do a few things that I've been wanting to do for a while. I wanted to make a few changes to my team. As you guys can see here, I have no starters, I have no bench, and I have no team uniforms, coach, court, or playbook. Now, the reason why I want to make changes now is that I'm in the second seed. It's time for me to actually try to get through these harder matchups where I'm going up against Jordan every turn. I'm going up against a LeBron every turn. I'm going up against Westbrook, James Harden, Melo, Durant all day long. And it's very hard for me to actually win these games, you know, by 10 or plus points. But usually I've been fighting, winning by two, three points. And these guys are cheesing the hell out of me, man. I mean, if all else fails with me guarding up their superstars, they'll come off the bench with a Steve Novak, you know, at center, shooting threes, knowing darn well the centers in the game are going to be sagging off. Oh, man, it's been a terrible run. Right now, I'm four and two in the second C. I know some people might say, hey, you're doing pretty good. But at the same time, man, those two losses, man, it was it was terrible. It was terrible. So uh, I'm actually going to start off by telling you guys I'm getting one player in particular. I will be getting LeBron James. Now, I know a lot of people are like, LeBron James, oh, man, you just, you just doing that just because. Now, I know a lot of people are like, it's, it's other small forwards in the league. But LeBron James basically does it all. You know, he's athletic, he can shoot, he can dunk all over people, spin moves, hop steps, lay up, whatever. Now, um, Kevin Durant and Carmelo Anthony, they were a, a very good choices. I wanted to, you know, holla at them, but I was like, nah, I'm going to go with LeBron James. So, right now I'm about to purchase him for 21 k you know, so a lot of people are probably going to be like, oh man, you're cheesing, but I got to do what I got to do, so... Now that I have LeBron James on my team, it's time for me to start opening up some packs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up as many packs as I can until I get to 3K VC. Now, the reason why I'm going to stop at 3K VC is because I actually want to play the first game with LeBron James on my squad. So I'm going to, you know, build up whatever attributes I can to all of my players, whatever signature skills I can to my players, and, you know, pick my home court and everything. Now, one thing that uh, I haven't done up until now is use any of the attribute update boosts. Now, the reason for this is because, you know, I have, you know, confidence in my ability to actually play this game, win these close games, and win against cheesers. Now, as it stands... Lately, I've been I've been fighting for my life. Like um, one match I went up against, I think Magic, Jordan, LeBron. No, KD KD was at the three. LeBron was at the four, and um, I think a, another guy had uh either I think it was Wilt or Shaq. And then another game, I just went up against the, you know, the Eastern and Western All-Stars mixed. I went up against, uh, a, a, what was it, a Chris Paul. Um, I think LeBron James was at the two. Melo was at the three. Kevin Durant was at the four. And Dwight Howard was at the five. And I'm like, I'm like, I got to go up against this every night. Every single time I want to play a game, I got to go up against this. So, you know, I, I, I took it in stride and I decided, you know what, enable for me to beat the cheese, I guess I got to start cheesing my darn self. Now, um, I know a lot of people are like, well, you really haven't gotten anything out of the booster packs just yet. But what I'm actually looking for in these booster packs are attribute updates and signature skills. As it goes for players, I think I have enough players to, you know, mix up a, a great enough starting five and bench. Now, um, my thoughts were um, an athletic starting squad and a shooting bench. Now, I don't know if that'll work too well to my advantage, seeing as those shooters aren't athletic and athletic guys can't shoot well enough for me to stay in the game if I'm going up against cheesers. But... What I can tell you guys is, if I am going up against a team that loves to shoot in the beginning, guess what? 
I could, okay, Byron Scott. But um, I can take out my starting five, which is totally athletic and, you know, running fast breaks and running the floor, alley-oops and all of that, and bring in my shooting squad. Now, um, I think my starting five is going to be something like this. I'm thinking of Magic. I'm thinking of Andre Iguodala. I'm thinking of LeBron James at the three. Uh, Jason Smith at the four. And I think Dwight Howard at the five. I think that that's the perfect squad to start out and be able to keep in if I need them. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, okay, well, what is your bench going to look like? Aha, I have a little <laughs> I have a little announcement for that. Um I'm thinking that I can have my boy Terry Porter starting at point guard, Dell Curry at the two guard. I'm thinking of Larry Bird at the uh small forward position. Now the power forward and the center positions is what's gonna, you know, determine if I'm still gonna have shooters. Now what I was thinking was I can go and buy Steve Novak for you know how much ever VC it costs. Oh, I'm sorry, let me let me go back out real quick. But uh I'm thinking about adding um Steve Novak to my squad and also adding who was it? Who was it that I was thinking? Um, no, I already have, um, two guys. Okay, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm thinking of two guys. Um, one will be either Chuck Persons or Rodney Rogers. Oh my God, I saw a lockdown defender. Oh my God. I can't believe I just did that. Holy fucking shit. I can't believe I just sold lockdown. If, oh my god! Oh my god! I'm 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 really mad right now. My son just messed up my whole just everything just now. He just he just threw me all off. But um, I'm looking to I'm looking to have Del Curry at the two, Larry Bird at the three, um, probably Rodney Rogers at the four because he can shoot the pill. And he can um, dunk, rebound, and stuff like that. And I'm thinking about Steve Novak at center to cheese with those guys and, you know, and, and try to play him, you know, straight up and try to box out as much as I can. So um, I'm, I'm so mad right now because uh, I just sold a lockdown defender and I meant to apply it to one of my players. That was one of the signature skills that I really, really look for because lockdown defender can stop other guys from using their signature skills, you know, when you're guarding up. So I'm really mad about that. But uh, hopefully I can get another lockdown defender in this uh, pack opening. I'm so pissed off about that. But um, just, you know, give me your guys' thoughts in the comment section on that starting five and that bench. Now, what I do want to say is, as it goes for, you know, having my athletic squad there's also an alternate lineup that I could run if I wanted to by selling a goal player for 17 to 18K. Now, this is the lineup. I'm thinking about Magic, Andre Godala at the two. I'm thinking about Gerald Green, you know, light skin LeBron at the three, having LeBron in at the four, selling away Jay Smooth and keeping Dwight Howard. And not even having Jace move for the bench or on my my team at all. So that's also an alternate way because with Gerald Green, you guys saw how I could I could easily get 50 points with him. I can get points with Andre Iguodala. And adding LeBron in at the four, he can rebound, he can drive past guys, he can he can he can poop all over everybody. So, you know, I may be able to to, to do something like that. Not really sure if I want to go that route, but you guys can leave in the comment section after seeing my lineup. I want you guys to write down a good starting five and a good bench for me to have in my team out of the players that I have. Now, the next thing that I want you guys to do is in the comment section, write down a few guys in my team that you think would benefit 
the way I want my lineup to be. Whereas though I want it to be an athletic starting five and a shooter bench. Now, that doesn't mean that the entire bench has to be shooters. Of course, that means the next five will be shooters. And then, you know, the other stragglers on the bench will be a, a split between athletic and, you know, shooters as well. So, um, I am about to open up the last pack for this. And then, um, that's it. So, I'm, I'm down to actually 2,456 VC, which is... Uh, not too good. You know, I'm going to have to uh, play a all-star um, matchup game and exhibition just to get back the extra VC. So now that I'm done with that, let me tell you guys about this. The all-star challenge, um, this is a good thing because you actually get about 700 to 750 VC out of that game alone. So, you know, instead of playing a my career, my career, my career game or playing two association games, you could just play that and get it back. So now it's time for me to start building my team up from the ground. So in that point guard, um, I also have world be free as well. He's he's a good shooter, too, but, you know, he can he can dunk as well. Um, and I also have Robert Pack. He would be great for an athletic point guard, but magic. I just I just love the way Magic plays. Like and plus he's a high overall, so you know, if I'm running any zones and stuff like that, he'll be able to step it up way better than Robert Pack or World Be Free. Now, shooting guard, I have Dale Curry, Andre Godala, and I have Byron Scott. Now, Byron Scott, he's not a slouch, so you know, let's check out his attributes real fast. Let's check out the ratings. Uh, he has a 80 dunk, 80 layup, 79 three-point shot. If I add an attribute to him for a game, he probably could be very cheese if I wanted him to be. Um, let's look at his speed. His speed is at an 85. Let's see. His vertical is at an 84. Quickness is at an 84. So he's definitely one of those guys that can show up whenever I want it. But I'm going to go with Andre Iguodala because he has finisher, lockdown defender, and posterizer. Now, his team salary is through the roof, but, you know, it's you have to do what you have to do. Now, out of all my small forwards, and, and I will say, my small forward lineup is beast. I have LeBron James, Larry Bird, Jerome Kersey, I have Chuck Persons, which is a great three-point shooter, and I have my boy Gerald Green, a.k.a. the light-skinned LeBron. So, now I could put in LeBron James at this position. Now, as it goes for power forward, like I told you guys, I, I have a good power forward lineup as well. I have Horace Grant. I have Josh Smith. Now, the funny thing is, I, I'm sorry. I meant to say Josh Smith, but I was thinking Jason Smith because he was on my old my team. But, uh, yeah, when I, I think when I first started out, I had Jason Smith from, uh, what was it, New Orleans or New Orleans. But uh, um, Rodney Rogers, great three-point shooter. Has great athleticism, can dunk inside, and he has finisher and scrapper. So rebounding would not be a, a problem with him. Now, Josh Smith, on the other hand, has defensive anchor, posterizer, and finisher. So he's helping out his team defensively when he's in the game, and he has posterizer and finisher to, you know, dunk all over people. And last but not least, the center position. I have Harvey Catchings, who has a great block rating. Dwight Howard that's just all over the place, plus brick wall and bruiser. Uh, I have JaVel McGee, which was, you know, my secondary uh, my secondary center because, you know, he comes in. He just He's a cheese player just because of the simple fact of his height and athleticism. You know, he'll just be blocking stuff out of nowhere. And then I have Walt Bellamy. Not very athletic, but a great rebounder, great AI. You know, he could pick stuff off in the paint, but he's just a little bit too slow for my athletic squad. So... That's my starters. Now, for the six men on the bench, I have to go with a point guard, right? So, like I told you guys, I need shooters. So, that would be Terry Porter. Uh, my shooting guard will have to go to Daryl Curry. Daryl Curry is a great shooter, A-plus rating. <laughs> Small forwards. Now, this is where things get tricky. Do I want Gerald Green coming off the bench to compliment LeBron? Or do I want Larry Bird to come in and just dominate from three? So I'm going to go with Larry Bird. For the power forward position, Horace Grant or Rodney Rogers? Now, check this out. My man got a C minus. My man got a B plus. Now, I know this hurts, but, you know, 
sometimes you got to go with what you got what you know. So I'm going to go with Rodney Rogers because he's a shooter coming in. Now, uh, for my number five position, I told you guys, I can try to grab Steve Novak and, you know, cheese like that. But for now, I'm probably going to have to go with, I think, maybe JaVel McGee. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with JaVel McGee because his IQ is higher. Now, it's funny because I have brick wall and a racer on him. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm just doing what I do. But uh, I, I do have brick wall on JaVel McGee. So when I'm coming off those picks, you know, it's, it's easy for me to get through. So my two people that I want to come off the uh, bench that may not get much time will probably be a point guard and a small forward. So um, as it goes for the point guard, uh, it will be Robert Peck. But I'm going to put in Gerald Green first so he can get better minutes over Robert Peck. And Robert Peck will be the last person that I add to my, my team. So that's my lineup right there. Um, make sure you leave in the comment section. Let me know if it's a good lineup, if I should, you know, switch things around. Um, as it goes for home jerseys, uh, I told you guys that I will always be, you know, inside the uh, Sixers jersey. But I've been thinking, you know, I might want to switch things up. Since my, my team is getting better, it seems like it's time for me to actually, you know, use better jerseys so what i'm gonna do is let's see if i can find that jersey i have so many jerseys by the way that's why i started my team to collect these jerseys but i'm looking for one in particular i don't know if i can find it where is it did i sell it i don't know or did i go past it i think i, I think i might have sold it okay well i'm gonna go with the city jersey um just because that was the one that i had and uh in high school when I graduated. Now, uh, I could either go with uh, Western All-Stars or Eastern All-Stars, or I can go with the Blue City, and I'm going to actually go with that. Um, for my court, <laughs> I'm going to go with the Oracle Arena, which is pretty pretty gold, you know. Um, gold things happen. Uh, for my playbook, the playbooks I have really aren't that great, um, but I'm going to probably have to go with the, let's see. Who's great with, you know, running the floor? It's probably the Clippers playbook. And for my coach, probably going to have to stay with Doc Rivers just because, you know, he's gold. He has the the best track record out of that list. And right now, that's my squad. So, um, I'm about to go into an exhibition game and play whatever team that's made up. Get my VC because road to the playoffs... I actually have to buy a uh, VC if I want to play the next game, but I'm going to just play the uh, the little whatever, whatever, and just get that back. Now, um, this game will be on Game Face Studios. It will not be uploaded to my channel, but what you can do is look inside the description, click the link, the very first link, and um, you'll be able to go watch that game. And uh, it'll be a full game live commentary. And I hope you guys will love it. This is IKC signing out. And I'm going to see you guys in the next pack opening. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.